I'll, I'll start by introducing the board. When I started with my left over here is Fred Keem, Byron Elias. Um, for Norm Murad, I'm Randy Bogart. Our reporting secretary is Dory Shaw, John Manchos, and Karen Stanislaw. Uh, our code enforcement officer is with us tonight, Joe Booth. And the town attorney, Herb Kelly, is with us as well. In the audience, we do have our assessor with us, Darlene. Thank you. Um, as I mentioned, we have two items on the agenda tonight. Um, what, uh, what we'll do is I'll have Dory read the first application um, and bring anything with you that you think is pertinent to your particular application, whether it's diagrams, letters of support, anything that you're going to think is to make, make your case. The board will, I'll open it up. The board may have questions of the applicants tonight. Um, and then after that, we'll open it up to the audience. They may have some comments as well on uh, any particular application. At that point, we'll close. <coughs> Pending anything out of the ordinary, we hope to make a decision on both of these two items tonight. Now, yeah, um, yeah, um, we do have, and I, I thought that all seven board members were going to be here, but we do have six out of seven. I will offer it to both applicants if you want to wait until we have a full board, which we, would be our next meeting in April. You can do that. You would need four out of six rather than four out of seven um, for your application. So um, I'll leave that up to each applicant. If you want to just proceed, we'll just we'll go with who we have here tonight. So with that okay. said, Darren, you want to read the first application? Uh -huh. The application of Mr. Andrew Goodell, 16 to the Hill in Hartford, New York. Mr. Goodell is requesting to add a 12 foot by 30 foot addition on the back of his home. The existing structure is not conforming and is 9 feet from the right side property line. The applicant is seeking a 1 foot right side yard area variance to add on to a non conforming building. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Pictures. Uh, there's the plot. Here's the uh, plane. Another plane was in that right here. Oh, Open them up. Let's get a look at them. Sure. We need that. <coughs> Did you put the addition on there, or that's just the original plot? Yeah, we put it on there. Okay. Uh, pictures of my house. Would you just need to see where the addition is going? I All right, Andy. Is that? All right. Okay. Uh, it's gonna go. It's gonna go on the back here. This has already been done. This proposed addition. Here. That's that's what we want to do. That's what you want to do now. Okay. And this is where we. This is where we would build off right off the back. This is a picture of my backyard. I'm going to come right off the edge of the house, which is right here, to uh, right there. Okay. Now, what is that? How close does that bring you to the, uh, to the top of the Tell us what we're looking at. Here. Yeah, that's the back of my house. That's where the addition is going. You see where that that circle is? I'll lay it down there. So we yeah, we're we're going to build. We're just the addition is going to come right out here, right from that edge to right about here, and it's going to be 12 by 30. So it's going to meet the actual edge of the house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the reason that you're looking for this? Well, I I need to expand. Uh, I only have two bedrooms in my house, and I have it's my daughter. She's nine. And my Son Thomas is six. Uh, it's only a thousand square foot house, so we need another uh, bedroom. Right now, both the kids are currently in the same room, and they're at the age where you know, they need their own room. So. You need your own room, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> she agreed, but she agreed. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, and here's the plans if you want to see them. <clears throat> <coughs> this basically the material is going to be the same and everything. So it doesn't, you won't even know it's an addition two years from now. Probably not. I mean. Probably not. 
side of the house is not the, the required 10 feet from the property line it's only nine feet but the addition is going on the left hand side of the house where he has more than enough space he's got at least 13 feet i think right and plenty of room for the backyard this is just a case of you can't add to a non -conforming oh, okay. structure. Okay. Yes. okay the question was the the was going to be like a shed yeah. coming up yeah. Yeah. somehow or was it going to be a pitch yeah. No. <coughs> you're going to add the um, addition. Yeah. Was there already an addition there? No. No, you never did one. You no. never had an addition. No. Okay. No. What, what, one question I'll ask. Can this be accomplished any other way? No. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? No. Right? I would love to say it looks... Hidden to me. It's hidden. Yeah. 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 If there's such a word as, yeah. I'm all set. Did you make it? Yeah. 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 I guess you know, never <laughs> know. We belong to Woodbury Pool, so that we leave everything right there. The only concern I have is when you have the third and fourth child, what are you going to do? Ah, well, I don't know. Right now I only have two, so we'll see what happens. Did you ever watch that TV commercial? Nah. Never going to do this. Never going to do that again. Well, we'll open this up. Is there anybody in the audience that wishes to speak on behalf of this particular application? No? Okay. Sorry, I saw no calls, no letters, no nothing in here, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll close. Comments? Criteria? Do we want to go right there? Yeah, the criteria. The only comment I had, I think the zoning officer really explained it well. Uh, the way he presented it today, it's legally, but it's yeah. illegal. Yeah. Uh, you, it's, it, true. it's really not that. It's not, not that substantial. Right. So yeah, I think that explained it uh, for me. Okay. Whether the benefit can be achieved by, achieved by other means feasible to the applicant. No. No. I think we asked him and he said no. Uh, undesirable changing the neighborhood character of a nearby property. No. No. Whether the request is substantial. No. 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 Whether the request will have adverse physical environmental effects. No. And whether the alleged difficulty is self created. No. Uh, let's see, two cases. No. No. I'd like to make um, a motion that we make very interesting question. Motion? Second. Second. I'd like to modify it to say that his daughter gets the uh, choice of rooms. <laughs> she does. She's getting the new room. <laughs> I'm okay. in favor of it. All right. Aye. 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 We all set? Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. You'll need that building permit to see Joe before you yeah. uh, start that. Okay? okay. And also, you've got to build that basketball team up in the heart. Hey, okay. we're trying. They started right. kindergarten for two weeks, so we're starting with uh, the Big deal. So, that's all you need in that? Yeah. Did you see the uh, basketball game? Cops and the, oh, no. the celebrities? We went Saturday night. For Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where did they play? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Boys Club. Oh, Boys Club. Senior High. Yeah. That's where they had the sections. Yeah, they had the sections before and they after. Got, well, they got them. 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 They <laughs> there was people they turned away. The celebrities okay. didn't do too well. The application of Mr. Dean Zampano, 6 Compton Road, New Hartford, New York. Mr. Zampano is proposing to demolish part of the existing building, approximately 20 feet by 25 feet, and adding a garage. Also, he plans to add a 10 foot by 12 foot connection to an additional. This property is non conforming as it is only 5 feet from the right property line. The applicant is seeking a 10-foot right side yard area variance to add on to an existing non-conforming structure. 
Can I ask the zoning officer before we get started? Sure. Joe, is this similar to what we've had? The it way is. I read it or the way it was read? It is. Because it's non conforming already. It's existing non conforming? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Is there you. pictures in front of the table? <laughs> Wait, I wanted to ask him a question. That was it. Oh, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Would you do a loser? Yeah. 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 Give us an explanation of what you're trying to do. Yeah, I can. Thank you. Okay. I was looking at this, and then I went up, and I didn't drive your driveway. I looked at it from the front. How are you doing, man? Good. 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 Just look at me what's going to happen here. This right here is pretty much existing. This garage, or this is what I'm going to run down with the front part, which is this part. This is the existing right now. Yeah, this is what's there right now. This okay. Is, this, you guys see this that? This goes away. Yeah, you gotta look this part right here. Okay. Okay. And which was be this side of the addition. Uh, you can see that. Stop right there. Okay. Same thing there. <clears throat> you see we're close to a single family come up. This is the garage yeah. now. Would you start building already with the tie back back? No, I just started building. Oh, that's all right. That's the front of the house. This is what you see. Did you see it in the driveway? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much when you pull in there now, we'll like that. Okay, so you're going to come forward. Yeah, so you're going to put addition this way. Yeah, that forward. Just about the same footprint. It's like maybe, I think it's maybe four or five feet more to the front. Yeah, nothing says it. Five foot, side. Yeah, nothing says it. Yeah, nothing says it. Yeah, nothing says it. Yeah, so the garage is going to go over this. This is getting ripped down. This is. The front of this. The first 25 feet by 25 feet will be gone. That'll put you to here. Is that yeah, considered like the addition? The you said there was, yeah. it was kind of an addition, right? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure exactly about the house market. Well, but it looks, this was there before this. Okay. That right now. Okay, I got it. It's constructed totally different. We might be asking the same question, but we got That's a drawing fine. here, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to lay it down right here. Yep. And I'm going to lay it this way here so everybody can see it. Yep. This is the garage. That's going to be built, right? Right. Okay. Where's the property line on this side? Five foot. Five foot. And what is it today, existing? Five foot. Five, five foot. foot. Okay. So you're not changing. No, I'm not going any farther. It's going to come right. It's going to be right down this, the same line as the, the whatever's left there, structure. It's going right down the same line. So you're going to follow it back, right? All the way. I back followed it this way. Forward. 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 Now, does that property line in any way waver? Does it go on a diagonal way? As far as I know, it doesn't. The lots up there are pretty square to the road. Right. Um, I found some old stakes. Yeah, I was probably more like six feet off the stakes that I found, so I would say no. Okay, so we built the garage. What else are we building on this? Uh, then we're going to build this addition here to wait. Which is going to run the, where? Here? Yeah, it's coming sideways. Right. It's coming across. Okay. And, and then something's going to go behind it? No, it's going right here. It's going this way. Yeah, okay. it's all going that way. So there's no, obviously your variance is not needed on this side. No. Okay. Don't need it here. Basically what's here right now is basically that right there. Okay. All I'm going to do is take the front off, put a garage here with a new foundation, and then I'm going to put all this new. Can I see that picture underneath? Yeah. This one? This one. Yeah. That's the front of it. Yeah. I, 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 know I, I, know everybody was up there and I was up there. I didn't even realize there was a house there. Is this, is this, uh, yeah, uh, way back. Is this a I've been by there many times. So, no, that's the back part of this. That's, that's, you're looking at that. You're looking at that. That's where you're the side. Captain's, uh, over here. Well, Captain's here. It'll be to your right, but you're staying there. I'm looking at this, this is here. You're not seeing, this, none of this is here. This is all that's here right now. This is, this is this. Basically, you're here for a five foot site. That's it. And everything yeah. else is conforming. Yeah, and I'm not really, that's, okay. that's already there, so I'm not right. really. Basically, you're remodeling a garage, except you're putting. No, you're, you're, taking out, you're, cut, you're taking part of the house down now. Yeah. The front part of the house you're taking down, you're putting the garage there. Yeah. My question is because I was up there, and it is that front part is falling apart. I mean, it's yeah. falling right, the, the walls are falling yeah. out. The, Back part, that's good enough to yeah. keep. Yeah. Should be. That, from what I see, it is. Are you going to lose your contract? Yeah, I've been doing this 30 years. Not there. <laughs> there's Are there's you building this for yourself? Or is yeah, for myself. Yeah. How much will the renovation, or how much will everything cost? 
Why did you get to bring me up? I'm not going to go to watch it. I am. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Yeah. Know, like that it's a total awesome. renovation. <laughs> it didn't look like anybody was it's living in there. So let me there isn't no more. Yeah, I'm familiar with the property. Wow. Uh, I've been by those at times that I've seen. I go down there. That's why I want to go down there. Every time we go there, I start to pick up basketballs and soccer balls. There's not any way. There's not any way you would want to tear that whole piece of property down and move it over. Not really. It it becomes a. There's a lot. You know. There's a lot of utility things you got to do, and then. It becomes a big issue. Plus, you're probably throwing fifty thousand dollars away if you do that. If you put that back where it is, like it is, it's probably you're probably looking at at least fifty thousand dollars. So that's just got some money to be a hair more. We got the lot size here. The lot size is uh, it's like I think it's one eighty by two ninety or something. It's an acre. It's an acre. Yeah, it's an acre. Yeah. Good size. Yeah. Yeah, they're one eighty by two ninety or something. Like that. Now you said you're a contractor. You're not going to be storing. Well, equipment up there, no, no storage. No. Cause violations. <laughs> <laughs> you want to repeat that thing? <laughs> <laughs> so when you get done with remodeling, restructuring, tearing down, what are you going to end up with? Two, three bedroom homes? Three bedroom house. All one level? All one level. Two square, small garage. How many square feet? Uh, 20, 21, 2200 right in that area. For resale? No, to live in. Okay. I don't like John? I don't no, that's not. Karen? Thank you. No questions. No Basically, it's just the part of the garage is the only thing he's really here for. Yeah. I mean, you know, we keep talking about this and that, but we don't have to. Right here. We got to talk about it all because he's not conforming yes, now. I don't. I'm like you. I don't see any problem with the rest of the right, the this, this, is, this is all going to be I just mean, the garage. Land there, you can you can build this twice that size. Right? Well, Randy said Randy hit it uh, hit a home run when he asked. You can just knock everything down and just move everything over. If you want to give him all, if he's got the money to do it, if I was mine, I wouldn't want to knock it down. I use it. Yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, you hit a home run, but you cost him a lot of money now. <laughs> I had asked a question. Do you have any questions? No, no, no. Do you have any questions? I just think it's sort of Fred? Started. No. Byron? No, I'm fine. No. No, I'm fine. Okay. Well, it's going to be better than we'll be what's there right now. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's yeah. Yeah. Right now. I guess the moment, I think we've got to ask this for you. Is there any other way, Mr. Zampano, is there any other way you can do this? Not really, because it 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 it'll ruin, it'll ruin the whole budget and everything. To be totally honest with you, if I had ripped everything down, I probably wouldn't do it. That's basically what it is. Not sure if we're concerned about the budget. We're concerned. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I, I, yeah, I mean, we're compliant. Yeah. If I have to come back and leave the front on and add on to that, then that's what I'll have to well, do. Well, I think to the way it's, it's existing bad. now, it's already five foot. So yeah, that, we've got to take that into consideration. Yeah, I'm not I'm not approaching any more than it is right now. It's pretty much the same footprint. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we'll open this up. Does somebody, anybody in the audience want to speak on behalf of this? Yeah, uh, I'm the neighbor, uh, Paul Ray Helm at Fort Compton. And welcome. Thanks. Uh, we, you know, um, nothing against uh, the Zapano. The, the house comes, the, uh, everything sheds to our yard pretty much. So it's soaking wet on that. It's five feet. It's always been five feet. Um, I grew up in the house, so we've been dealing with it our whole lives. Nothing can grow on that side. It's a full acre, and with the house, it is crumbling down. I've been inside. Um, I don't know what the, I've been in the back half. I'd assume the back half is better than the front half. The front half is, is coming down one way or another. <laughs> um, so we, I don't know what the plans, full plans are here or what he plans to do. Um, and it's not how I, I like to get off on, on, a, on a start with, with any neighbor, um, but it's, it's a full acre. And that house, again, all the water comes straight off into our yard. It's soaking wet on it. You're, you're shaking your head. It, unless he's going to shed it the other way and, and draw everything back into his, his acre, it's all going to come this way. It's going to be a different pitch line from what I can just see on, on the drawings here. So it does it. If, if it were 10, 15 feet over like it should be, there'd be no issue, right? There'd be, there'd be that common, you know, variant or that common whatever it's supposed to be according to the code. But right now, it is right there on the property line. 
And I, I haven't seen his pictures. I've got you, you know the pictures from this side just in case there weren't there weren't any provided. But it's uh, again, I, I prefer that the thing come down and get moved over. Um, there's there's no basement to it. The water pours out the back. Um, I think there's a um, sub space, whatever, but it's not a basement. So again, uh, from my perspective, we prefer that the um, variance not be allowed and that it be moved over to a proper distance. Okay. And basically, it's, it's just based on the whole watershed, everything coming in. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, in particular, I owned up property for three years, and this is the first I ever heard of that. I don't even know where that even came from, but you, if you the building's brand new know. there, if the building's brand new there, there'll be a gutter on it, there'll be a drain tile, so he'll definitely have less water than he's getting right now. Because that right now there's no gutter, there's nothing on that side. And if his lot if his lot's low, he's gonna get water because the back of this lot is low and I get water too. So if you're low, you're getting water. I'm not they're not shedding any more water over with what I'm doing now. It'll be less water. Because I'll be putting a gutter up and it'll be a drain town and it'll be going back to the back. And there's also a ton of trees on that lot that don't provide any sun to get in to part of his yard as the way it comes up. And when we remove some of the trees, he will get more sun over there and it will hopefully our yard will dry out a little more and that one will too. Right. I, 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 think that, I, think that trees, I think you know it's a beautiful lot. Well, I'm sure you don't, but I, I mean I'm just saying well, the way we'll just stick come. to the water issue. Because yeah. that's yeah. what he has an issue. Well, let's just stick to the water issue. Everything you right. have marked in orange, you're going to take those trees down. Yeah, all the wrap, those will be all gone, yes. And if it's the water, we'll do the gutter? And well, the there's not going to be a water it. issue when I get down with it. It's, it's not, there's not one now, as far as I know. Nobody ever mentioned it to me until I just heard just now. So as far as I know, there isn't one. Well, well if there is one, we will address it, and we will make sure there's not a problem with it. What we found at this board, though, Mr. Zampano, over the years is that People don't complain with their neighbor who's been there for a lot of years, and yeah. when somebody comes in to do what you want to do, which is fine. They just bring port. So this board, at least for one member of it, will address the water problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll address it. I'll, I'll make sure it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? I will address it for sure and make sure that he doesn't have a problem. I mean, per code, you can't run water in people's yard anyway. So if I'm ten foot away or five foot away, it doesn't really matter. I still can't pitch water to his property. You're hundred percent correct. So. And there's a swale between the two properties, too, mm. if you look. And if it was raked out, there's a swale there. So the two properties are about at even level. And then mine goes back to the back, and his goes, I think, down in the back, too. I so he, there's going to be water back there, because everybody else around us is higher than us, too. The lady on my left side is two foot higher than I am. Her driveway is two foot higher than I am. So water's going to run. If you're lower, you're going to get the water. I got it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <clears throat> Is there anybody else that wishes to speak on behalf of this particular application? Okay. I just have another comment to Mr. Zampano, if I may. Sure. Mr. Zampano, we talked about the garage side. Yeah. Uh, is there any way, and I asked you if there's another way, and you said budget, but if we brought that garage in 10 feet, uh, which basically will be in compliance, what would that do to your your drawing and what would that do to your garage? It'll be in front of the whole house. Yeah, it'll be, nice. it'll be more in front of. It won't, it'll be in front it, it'll look worse than you know. It, ain't gonna, it won't look right. Oh, when you say symmetrically, it won't look. Bring it in. You're saying bring it over time. Yeah, he wants to bring it jagged five feet over and leave the other structure there. Yeah, I know. Well, we well, that's why I'm just down. asking. Yeah. That's why I'm just yeah. trying to get that. Well, that's why I wasn't sure if you wanted to move the whole house or just the garage. No, he already asked to move the whole house. Oh, I know that. Well, that's why I was. I was just thinking the garage itself. Right. Is there a Do vestibule you. that's going to be there? Is there yeah, be that's what's going to say. You know, screw the vestibule up, and the vestibule is 10 foot because I have to tie in, you know what I mean? Uh, How about making your garage smaller overall size? Nah, I mean, if you don't have a 25 by 25 garage, you, you don't even have a garage. I agree. You, you know I mean? You gotta, the garage is never big enough. So to make I'm, just, it, I'm just asking. No, I understand. I'm just Our giving you, I'm just giving you my comment. That's all. I'm just telling you what I think of that. You know, you go try to sell a house with 18 foot garage someday, and you won't probably sell it because of that. Okay. Thank you. Um, I guess we're all set. Uh, we'll uh, close. More calls. Um, I did get a couple calls. Um, one from uh, Lady Tish Tad, who never responded back. I sent her all the information. She's in, away. And a Dr. Persian who has no problem with it. Oh, sorry. Okay. Did Mrs. Tad tell you if she supported her post? Uh, she didn't uh, say one way or the other. All right. Um, comments? I would say um, it's staying on the same footprint. 
Um, so I don't think the water situation would be worse. If not, it will be better if he's going to be putting in the gutters. If he left it as is, that water problem or so-called would remain there. So if he's staying within the footprints of what he's doing now and puts up gutters, it might alleviate that problem anyway. Okay. I don't, I don't, yeah, I really don't have a problem with him, and I, and I don't think I worry about water. But if he puts gutters on there and makes it go towards the front of his property and the back of his property, and I know if you look back there, it's, it's really damp. But uh, it's going to be that and way no matter what you do. And if you make him, if you make it move it in, it's still going to be the same way. And if you, if you take that away, it's not even going to look, I mean, if you look at this, and you picture that in your house. You're going to go in a driveway. You're going to look at a garage. There's going to be a walkway between here and there. If you put the garage over there, <coughs> I mean, you know how screwy that's going to look. I mean, you, you take and chop this over here, like that. I mean, that's that's terrible. And like he says, if he moves it over here, then he's going to lose all that too. And he's going to lose what he's already got there. And if you start playing utilities there, they're going to have to run from the road all the way back there. You're talking mega bucks. I mean, if you're talking about something being feasible. That's not feasible, in my opinion. I, I would say that the utility thing is not really true. The, the utilities already run to the left side of the house, and there's a pole that National Bid has in the center of the to the left of the driveway. What about the gas? Yeah, the water yeah. comes in the left side of the house. They're still got to get moved. You can't just leave it where it is and put it there. I, I really don't have a problem with it. Sure. Um, I don't either. I don't have a problem with it. I don't know. Sure. Now, as long as we take care of it, at least yeah, as we prove it, we, uh, in our, in our uh, motion, we uh, stipulate some uh, water alleviation in one way, shape, or form. I mean, that means if he, if he should go for it and there is a water problem, um, Well, I, no, I, I did. I walked the property yeah. yesterday, and it, yeah. the, uh, it is wet. Yeah. In fact, back, back, um, because it's wet, it's wet. I, I can say it's wet. Mm -hmm. Is that the cause of this home, though? I'm just saying, I don't know what it's from. I'm just saying the property's wet. So back wet there. Well, it's, it's lower than all the properties around it. Yeah. If you look back there, you can see why it's brought back there. If I can just say, if, I mean, he's a contractor. No one's got to put a sub drain around that. Yeah. I mean, it, the problem might they don't even have a sub drain now. It might not even have it. For all we know. Well, you don't know where it goes, or if there's room no. for it to even go anywhere. And if he didn't well, come here for the variance, that water's there. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. Do we want any to ask Joe for any well, suggestions? I was getting there eventually. Oh, John. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, Sorry, Joe. I think John hit it on the head. Tie the gutters into some mm -hmm. subterranean drainage, wrap oh, it around yeah. the house, and send it to the low point out back. Protect Mr. The only thing that I would agree that uh, what John was, I guess what uh, Joe clarified, and to put a little berm between the two, even if it's only a foot, a little berm. Yeah, we can just wait over something. Well, yeah, I think these, this, when you go back there, though, it does fall away. There's so a swale there now between the two houses because originally when it was built, they probably berm. swelled everything to so the lines like go. they always do. And they swell and everybody's water goes to one spot and goes to the So I, I'd be in favor, but it's, you'd have to put a berm and tie the drains into subterranean drain, like what uh, Joe said. I have a couple questions to the attorney and to the, We know that a pre existing building is there now, it's within the non compliant area right now. Am I correct? Right, it's non conforming as it is right. now. They can't now, do anything. Do we, can we go to the uh, street signs? Uh, something that falls down and does it lose its variance? Let's say if he takes this down completely, does he have to become compliant now? Or is he built onto the structure that's there? Yeah, well, he'd be foolish to take the structure down. Well, that's what I'm asking. That's once what I'm he's asking. down, once he's down, down, he can't, can't put it down. That's what I was talking about. Right, he could make a repair, he could stabilize it and leave it there. That would be the smart thing to do if you didn't grant the variance. Well, I want to make sure that he hears that. Did you hear that, Mr. Zampano? Yeah, I heard you. Not me, him. No. Yeah, I heard him. They can hear me from the other side oh, of the street. I hear them. Yes, I hear them. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
and I'm asking that question purposely because once it's taken down, you lose and you have to revert back to yeah. what? Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm here. All right. So the way I look at it now, it's existing. We do have a neighbor that has a great concern, and I'm very familiar with the Ray Hill property in that area because I live up in that area, and I know the house. I've been back of that house. I sold real estate up there in that area. The only plus that I can see this, and I'm, I'll maybe leave this for the discussion, but I'd like to address the audience out there because we have a concerned resident and obviously we have someone moving in there, is that we as a board obviously are looking at the variance, but there's also a neighbor that's looking at his home and existing home, and the rails have been up there for 45 years. Are we going to add to the problem? Mr. Zampano says no, we're not. It's going to get better. His problem is going to be better than it ever was since he lived there. Well, I, I think because that's there'll be another in the house, and then up that right there alone will cause more water. He, he won't let any water to his property. So let me ask you a question, if I may, Mr. Zapata, yes. since you're the applicant. If we make a proposal here and obviously grant this, we would like to include that as long as the legal department thinks it's okay, that we make sure that the variance, if it's granted, it's granted with some of the things that was discussed here. Can nice. we do that? Cool. Sure. So we'll put conditions on yes. Condition of the ladder and the drain It's an issue. Well, I want to make sure that it is. But I want them in the sure. place. Yeah. 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 Understandable? Yeah. yeah, that's a non-issue. I already said that's an I'll take care of the water problems a non-issue. Okay. It's as simple as that. So we'll make Very sure. Good. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah, let's go through Whether the benefit can be achieved by the means feasible to the applicant. Feasible no. Well, it can be, but but it's gonna cost feasible is the word. Feasible is the word. Why don't you take a roll call on each of the criteria, please? Whether the benefit can be achieved by the means feasible to the applicant. Fred. No. Byron. Uh, no. Terry. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Okay. I'm just saying would change the neighborhood character of the nearby properties. No. 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 Are we all in agreement on that one? Yes. Do we need to take roll call? I agree with the. That it, it won't be an undesirable change. Whether the request is substantial. No. No. I say no. 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 <coughs> no. Okay, we're in agreement. Whether the request will have adverse physical or environmental effects? No. No. Depends how we make the motion, but no. Because the problem, the existing it's problem, existing. we're going to make it better if we approve it. If we approve it. Right, it's not creating so I say no. Problem. Well, it's hypothetical because we really don't know what it's going to create. I mean, how do we know? Well, the way you can deal with that is to require some kind of an engineering report dealing with the uh, water situation. No. I like Haven't we done that in the past, yeah. require an engineer well, design? He's kind of an engineer drawing, so yeah. they can incorporate the specifications right in the drawing. So you would need to verify you need that anyways, Joe? Not ordinarily, no. but if it uh, solidifies or memorializes the agreement, I'm sure his engineer could put it in. The no, I mean, he's got to get an engineer anyways. For the addition, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that, Joe, because the pre-existing residents there have been there. So I think that, that if we can incorporate it with Byron's motion, I think that's... Absolutely. Thank you. So let me go back to where we were. Whether the request would have adverse physical or environmental effects. No. 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 Yes. No. No, I'd like to add because the issue is there and it's the same footprint. Yeah. I don't see yeah, it. Really really any better. Excuse me, too. I'm going to say no, and the reason I'm saying is we're talking about something that could have been there for 30 Thank years. You. And might even be my problem. Wait, 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 wait. So you don't get in trouble, okay? I mean, I live on property that has a water problem in the spring, but it was there when I bought the land. It's still there. And we put drains in and everything, and it's still there. And my neighbors and I got together. I mean, we actually have a manhole in one of the backyards. Okay. So and it's still there. So you're a no. I'm a no. Because right. you don't know what it's been like in the last 40 years. Uh, no. Okay. This is number four, right? That was number four. Okay. No. Well, the last and Randy, before you go, I'd like to just add to mind when I said no for the very first no, one. No, you can't. 
I can't add to what you oh. <laughs> Because feasible was the word. When, yeah. Can it be done any other way feasible to the applicant? It was the feasible. Okay. Well, the alleged difficulty is self created threat. No. 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 It's there. I agree. Yeah, that's there. Who's yeah. I agree. No. I agree. Okay. I don't know. So, <coughs> I think we've gone through those. Now, with that said, any more discussion? Do I want to make a motion? I can make a motion. Okay. I make a motion to approve the applicant's request for his variance with uh, subject to a uh, subterranean drain being designed by an engineer to take the water away from the side of the house to the lowest part of the property. And two is uh, he puts up a small burn between the two property lines along the length of the uh, of the house. Small burn. If, yeah, but, but I'm saying if you're going to put a subterranean drain in there to drain the water away, why are you going to put a berm there? And he watered it because now, supposedly, from we're told, there's a swale in there, okay? The swale's on both properties, right? I know it, but it's on both properties. You've got an underground drain now that's really going to take the water off of this place. And if you put a berm there, any water, the house. any water that is there is going to force it against the wall of the house. I mean, you're, you're right. sort of defeating the reason why we're putting the drain in. Then, then the water will stand his property to take, but that's what you do. You can't take blood the property. You can't. Do but there isn't a burn there now. We're creating a dam. That's what we're doing. There. Yes. For the burn. To hold the water back. Just a small one. Small burn. I, uh, I'm not changing it. I mean, I, you can vote no. Well, I. Well, you got a motion. Why do you see if you get a second? Okay. Then. Why don't you see if you get a second? Well, before. But, I just can I ask one question yeah, sure. before we get a second? Would you want the recommendation made by the engineer on the burn or not? I, I go. I live with that. Whether that's necessary or not. See if it's necessary. That would have been my uh, yeah, add on if you would allow me. If he allows me to do that, I'll second the motion. Gutters. Did you want to add gutters to that? Gutters, yeah. I can write that down here. And so, we don't need to read. I think we know what the motion is. You want to I'll second that? it, yeah. Fred? Aye. 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 Put this in there about the engineer. Okay. So then I'll answer your motion. Okay. Engineer. Okay. <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Can you re-read re that for us, please? It's going to be a little iffy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> motion to grant the application by Byron Elias with a subject to a subterranean drain being designed by an engineer to take the water away from the house and to put in a small burn between the two property lines the length of the house. No, no, no. But it would be depend on the engineer to make the recommendation whether this berm is needed or not. If also, the, the um, placement of gutters. Gutters are going to be Gutters are going to be But the, but the berm, you could say, if required by an engineer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I can live with that. <clears throat> I'll second that. Uh, as, second by yeah. as long as I, I feel uh, we did a good job because we're protecting the, the existing resident there. Yeah. And yeah. we're also, if anybody's ever been up there, and I asked the audience to go up there, that home, and I think Mr. Rahill said it, or one of the people here on the board said it, it's ready to fall down. Mm -hmm. So if we can compromise, and I think we did, we're going to get a new structure there, which is going to look lovely and we're compromising with the neighbor by building what Byron proposed, I'm in full agreement with it. I think we can satisfy that. I would hope that the neighbors can work that out, maybe when the engineer or the flow, you can get well, together. With I just it. want to get one thing on the record. That, that sure. property, they don't know where the water's coming from, so for them to blame me for water on their property, it's not fair, and that should be on the record. that They don't have any proof of that. That's all I want to say. Otherwise, I'll take care of the gutter fund. To say that and then come back after I build a place, he's going to tell me he's got water. You know, it's not... That's not what's going on, but I don't mind doing what I have to do to keep the water off this property. But just so everybody knows, it's not because of that property, because I'm lower than he is. So I get all his water, yeah. technically. So. Got it. Hey. Got it. Thank you. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Good luck. Yeah, Thank, good you, Thank you, sir. You want minutes. Minutes. Yeah, well, we put that in there. Yeah. yeah. There's, is there anything else? Is that all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
I was in here for 45 years. I've had the same name. A motion for the minutes? Um, motion? Yes. yes. To approve? Oh, not not yes. 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 Motion made by Jan, seconded by Fred, or voice of reason. I can't vote, can I? Because I was there. Oh, yes. Would I write yes? You abstain, sir. Okay. I'll abstain since I wasn't there. Oh, you must have been so good. Um, I wish I was here because I was both of them both of my customers. Um, we're out of here. We do have an agenda for April. He's gonna have to I like the uh, any fences uh, decisions were made right. No. Good. That yes. <laughs> the I think both decisions last month were made right. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the reason I'm saying that is because I would have voted that way too. So I wanted you guys to know that. Where are you going? Well, I got time. Yeah, today I do. Yeah. I know, but I, well, I've been running the Buffalo, but I'm not doing that. He can't. He can't leave. Okay. Well, unless you move my blade. Oh, what do we have, Mitchell? Oh, did I park by you? 